What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. So today is the final day, day six of the Pawn Takes Pawn Easter Egg for the Call of Duty 2020 reveal. Now, as I'm recording this video, it's currently 4 a.m. in the morning, so the cipher is possibly gonna be solved later today, this afternoon, and a lot of people are under the impression that we may be getting some sort of a reveal trailer for the next Call of Duty game today after the cipher is completed and solved, but personally, I think whatever is coming out today is not gonna be a trailer, unfortunately, but whatever we do find after the cipher is complete, I'm fairly positive that it's gonna lead us to another piece of the puzzle for us to solve next week, whether that's something we gotta do inside a war zone or what, I'm not too sure. But I don't think Treyarch is gonna be revealing anything just yet. Now, what I do think we should be looking out for is something happening today at the Call of Duty League Championship. So, if you guys didn't know, today is the start of the, you know, basically the NFL Super Bowl or the NBA Finals for Call of Duty. It's pretty huge. And it's gonna be running from today, August 19th through the 23rd, and then on Championship Weekend, which takes place on the 29th through the 30th. So, like I said, I don't expect anything to be revealed today, but I do, however, think at some point during the CDL Championship Week, we are gonna be getting at least a mini teaser or a trailer shown, at least one of those two. This is definitely the month when COD 2020 is gonna be revealed, but we may have to wait a few more weeks, possibly until the championship weekend, which sucks because a lot of people want this trailer out right now. They're getting kind of bored of the same thing over and over again, just going to the different bunkers on Warzone, writing down the codes on screen, and yeah, it's just been the same thing for the past couple of days now. I don't mean to shut down anybody who actually does enjoy doing the Easter egg because for me personally, I think it's pretty cool what Treyarch is doing, which is building up towards something really, really big. But whatever that is, I just hope that it's able to be something spectacular and it makes all this waiting worth it. So, yeah guys, like I said, I just wanted to get that out first. I highly recommend everybody tuning into the CDL games because they really are a lot of fun to watch if you're a Call of Duty fan. I haven't been paying too much attention like I normally do every year for the competitive scene, but I have caught up on a few of the matches and the home series finals, so yeah, again, I highly recommend tuning in today. We may be getting something in terms of a little teaser or an Easter egg at least for the next step for the Easter egg. Now for the next part of the video, we have yet another game breaking unintended glitch happening in Warzone Battle Royale, which sucks because the FR556 underbarrel shotgun is already seriously broken in the game, but there's something even worse going on right now in my opinion. And actually this has been going on for a couple weeks now, if not months, and it's still not fixed. And I assume because it's not as mainstream as the FR underbarrel shotgun because once that hit, everybody like streamers and YouTubers were bringing it up to Infinity Ward and the same day they come out with the tweet saying they are aware of the issue and they're working on a fix which is really really good news to hear it just sucks that we got to deal with yet another game breaking glitch but I'm kind of giving the dev team some slack and I think we all should because of the coronavirus like we don't know what's going on with the situation over there like the team is probably working from home they may not have all the resources and tools readily available at their home made workstation or whatever they're using the communication with other employees possibly is pretty bad like i'm pretty sure it's just a huge hassle over there so i'm not gonna be all oh let's light our torches grab our pitchforks and come after them because I know what it's like to work under these crazy conditions right now, and I can only imagine what it's like working on a video game from home. It has to be crazy over there. But to kind of just, you know, do my job with what little of a following I do have, and let you guys know as well as the dev team know about something's happening inside a war zone that's game breaking. So inside a war zone, there's a way for you to get unlimited stopping power rounds. Now the stopping power rounds are really, really good because they do add an extra amount of damage your bullets do to enemy players and it's super, super simple to do. Now, in the gameplay, I'm gonna be doing this on Plunder because it's a little bit more convenient for me with the redeploys, but what you do is find the stopping power rounds and get a copy of the same gun you wanna be uh, using for the game. So, in the gameplay, I'm gonna be using the FR556, but let's assume I got this from a loadout drop, so what I would then do is use the stopping power rounds and then go find another drop, whether you buy one or your team gets one of the free ones, either or is fine. You will then switch to the same exact class, pick up the same weapon, and after that you will always have the stopping power rounds equipped. So again, you add the stopping power rounds to the weapon of your choice, find a second loadout drop, switch to that same exact class, and then pick up the weapon off the ground. And again, you will always have stopping power rounds on your gun. 
it doesn't matter if you waste all the bullets either because if you happen to find ammo off the ground then you will still reload the gun with stopping power it's just so crazy and so game breaking and little things like this going on inside a war zone makes me think maybe this is why a lot of players like myself are having such a hard time winning games consistently because there's these mini little glitches and unattended um, things happening inside of Warzone that shouldn't be like there's also something going on with the recon drones as well I'm not gonna be talking too much about that because I try to keep a bunch of these glitches under uh, Wraps and key I do send gameplay out to Activision support in case they uh, Aren't aware of these things and then they you know go out to notify the dev team So I do little things like that I don't post everything onto the channel here because I don't want to make it like you know too mainstream where everybody's gonna be doing it and it just you know, snowballs into a crazy, crazy after effect. So, like I said, I do send this stuff out to Activision, but there's still little things like this going on inside a war zone. It's very frustrating. I just hope we can get a fix for all of these game breaking issues fast instead of having to wait weeks or possibly months, or maybe one day there's gonna be a better anti cheating system. Who knows? Um, but speaking of that, in this gameplay you're watching, it was literally from a few days ago. And as you can clearly see, there are still aimbot hackers ruining this game. So, yeah, guys, if you two are having a tough time in Warzone, don't give yourself too much of a hard time because there are still little glitches like this happening that are very easy to do that could possibly cost you a dub in a good majority of the games you play. So, with that, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. Call of Duty 2020 is literally just on the horizon here. If anything major does come out today, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated with all of the recent Call of Duty 2020 news and information. Thanks for watching and also comment down below your thoughts about all this stuff that i talked about today subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when i upload videos love you guys so so much have a great rest of the day till next time i'll see you later